Opioid related overdose deaths have reached an all time high in Massachusetts. Five investigates. Mike Bodet has been covering this issue for years. All right, Mike, how bad are the numbers? Maria, the numbers, they are not good. More than 2,300 people died from opioid related overdoses in Massachusetts in 2022. These numbers are devastating. Public Health tragic. Commissioner Dr. Robert Goldstein delivered the grim news. Massachusetts saw more people die from opioid related overdoses in 2022 than ever before, up 2.5% from 2021 and a 9% increase from 2016, the pre pandemic high. These numbers are tragic. Um, I think we all would hope to see a reversal in this trend. You see that little encampment right there? Five Investigates brought you onto the front lines of the overdose crisis earlier this year when we visited a homeless encampment in the woods of Worcester. Hey, how we doing, Gary? That's when we first discovered fatal overdoses rose in 2022 compared to 2021. They jumped in Worcester and in Lynn, where deaths increased from 61 to 63. Fall River suffered 67 fatal overdoses last year, up from 62 in 2021. The state has already poured hundreds of millions of dollars at the problem, and Governor Healy is now pushing for more than 600 million for substance addiction prevention and treatment programs. People have been working incredibly hard for many years. If you really dig into the numbers, there are success stories. There are communities where we're seeing decreases in overdose rates. Those communities include Easton, Norton, and Watertown. But fentanyl remains a deadly challenge. It was present in 93% of opioid-related overdose deaths, followed by cocaine in 53% and alcohol in 28%. The animal tranquilizer xylazine, which Five Investigates also told you about earlier this year, is a growing concern. It was present in 5% of deaths. We have a toxic drug supply. And it doesn't matter if you're using opiates or not, you are at risk if you're using drugs that are bought illicitly. The state data reveals that opioid related overdose death rates among black non Hispanic residents make up the largest increase. Nearly half of all the people who died from overdoses were, were between 25 and 44 years old, and most were men. Mike Bodette, five investigates. Thank